In this video, we're going to learn how to get up and running with our first Strapi project. We'll be covering the different ways in which we can create a new Strapi project and how to interact with Strapi's command line interface. Let's get started with the different ways in which we can install Strapi and create a project. With our terminal app open, we may choose to continue with either the Yarn package manager or the Node package executor. On screen, we can see that both of the commands are similar, where we've also specified our project name to be my project. Let's continue with a node package executor in this video, whilst we also discuss the last part of our command, the quick start flag. Using the quick start flag is a great way to get up and running quickly by allowing the project creation process to select some of the default configuration settings. This also means that your project will be configured to use an SQLite database. If you'd prefer to use one of the other database options, such as MySQL, PostgreSQL, or MongoDB, then you can run the project creation command without the quick start flag. Whatever your initial selection of database, it can always be changed later on. Now may be a good time to dip away and grab a coffee or your beverage of choice. Because we're using the quick start flag, our project will automatically start in development mode once it's been created. And that's all it takes to create a strappy project on your local machine. Now let's take a closer look as we cover how to interact with Strapi's command line interface. Our earlier command has created files in the directory in which it was executed, and this includes the package.json file. If we peek into the package.json file, we can see our four default scripts. Develop, Start, Build, and Strapi. Let's demonstrate these scripts and their commands in action. The develop script is what has just been automatically executed as part of our project creation command with the quick start flag. This starts Strapi locally and in watch mode, which will auto reload your project as you update it. This is the command you should be using to start your project throughout the development of your application. The start script is similar, however, this starts Strapi without watch mode. This is the command you will often use to start your application in production. The build script has also been automatically executed as part of our project creation command with the quick start flag. This is what builds Strapi's admin panel user interface. The Strapi script is what exposes Strapi's command line interface. When executed without any arguments, it will display all the commands that are available. With the console command, our project will be started with the addition of an interactive shell. This allows us to evaluate commands within our project in real time. The Strapi command line interface with the generate command allows us to generate our types without needing to use the content type builder within the admin panel. With the install and uninstall command, we can manage the installation of many useful plugins within our project. For example, executing Strapi install GraphQL will install the GraphQL plugin for Strapi within your project. For more information on these commands and their arguments, we recommend checking out the Strapi documentation. That's it for this video on how to get up and running with our first Strapi project. 
You should now have a good idea on the different ways in which we can create a new Strapi project and how to interact with Strapi's command line interface.